All eyes on one man. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. The action is live next. And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we have our stockings already prepared, full of footballing presents for you. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Newcastle United. But at the moment, no present from you, Derek. Um, it's coming later, I promise. Uh, I think that was the answer you gave me last year. Still, this game will be a treat for everybody. Have to say, as a football fan, I love this time of the year, with the fixtures coming thick and fast. It's great stuff. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kieran Trippier starts with Matt Target in the fullback positions. And the striker is Callum Wilson. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Callum Wilson. Joe Willock. The Magpies pushing forward with options available. And a chance for them to notch in front. The save was a good one. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Well, sometimes we look for an explanation and just can't find one. But the truth of the matter is Liverpool have been well below par. Well, what a poor season they're having. I really thought they would be challenging for the title. There just seems to be something wrong with the attitude of the players at the moment. And that needs to change quickly. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, the crowd know that set pieces could be their best chance. Just listen to that reaction. Playing it short. Diego Costa. Superbly read and executed. Sam Maxima. Target with it. And just failed to keep the ball in play that time. Well, news to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Liverpool. Oh, wait a minute, could be in here. And it's in! 1-0, they breach the defence. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So, underway again here. One nil the score. Really a very poor ball. The Magpies looking creative. Can he finish this? And a goal! The quick one too! And they've turned this game on its head! Well, here it is again. And I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post. But I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So the ball rolling again, 2-0. Diego Costa. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Joao Linton. Still alive. And saved by the keeper. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He Tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. The now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Number 23, Jacob Murphy. Delivering it. Chance, maybe. Well, it looked so threatening, but the danger averted. 
Well, those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will, and while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. He was under pressure. Wasn't a great first touch, but still has it. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Attacking possibilities for Wolves here. Oh, he looks threatening. Part of the final analysis, it was good defending. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see from those stats. And it's going to be a real test for that back line to keep him quiet. If they switch off, even for a minute, they'll be punished. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Not really the ideal clearance. Will he finish? And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Joe Willock. Now, what can they do from here? Wilson. Oh, in with a chance! And the keeper's hand does the trick. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Mateus Cunha. Now, what can they produce on the flank? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players. Oh, been... hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Oh, that is a superb save. Wilson. Superbly read and executed. Ruben Neves. It's with Joe Linton. Joe Willock. Space for the Magpies in the wide position. Can he finish? And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing! Just can't stop him today! Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And the action underway once more, with the Magpies very much on top. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Into the advanced position. But the danger averted for now. Well, the story of the first half has been written. It is half-time now here at Molyneux. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. So back in business here, the second half is underway. And my goodness, the Magpies really took flight in the first 45. Will it be a repeat performance this half? Putting his body on the line. Can he put it in? On a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed.
Well, he's lost the ball. Wilson, and he's in. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Oh, it was there for him to take the chance. Jacob Murphy. Counter-attacking very much an option. Sam Maxima. But he knew he had to get to the... Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. And over comes the corner. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Sam Maxima. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Plenty of support here. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers facing West Ham United. Willock firing it in. Terrific block. Being pressed hard. And a goal has gone in at the Emirates. Let's hear about it from Alex. Yep, yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space and it was a beautiful headed finish. They're back level. It's one all with 61 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Diego Costa. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Wilson. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Threat over for now, it seems. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, how did that... Oh, opportunity here, Stewart. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, as you can see, it's a good finish. It just goes in off the post. It's perfect placement. Well, it's an out-and-out pasting. 6-0. Adama. Diego Costa. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And into the last 20 minutes. Diego Costa. And a chance for him on the flank. And he might be through here. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Newcastle United facing Aston Villa. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? top-class goalkeeping he's going forward well here he's trying to create something and denied by the post well no damage done 
An interceptor there. Well, that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Mateus Cunha. Nunes. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Ruben Neves. Diego Costa. The inside route looking promising. Into the advanced position. Can they keep it out? And a time for calm on the ball. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, it could be on for him here. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. And there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Newcastle United. I wonder what you thought about their performance. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time. 